One zero and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler on a search for planets in some way like our own. Burnier engine chamber pressures are building. Groundless solid motors are building in chamber pressure. Increasing at this time. Pressure's looking good. Ten seconds into the flight. Recovering from the initial launch transients. Passing 34 seconds. Mach 1, vehicle's now going supersonic. Motor uh, chamber pressure is uh, beginning to trail off as we're passing 45 seconds. Engine uh, chamber pressure, good steady state value. Symmetrical burn on the uh, groundlet solids. Coming up 55 seconds. And we have a sequence on channel 1. Sequence Standing by for burnout. Zero, three, Burning out of the solids. Four, nine, and for four, separation. Seven, four, six, five. We see separation. Seven, decimal, four, six, five, and we have ignition of the airlit solid motors. Airlit solid motors building in chamber pressure. A minute, 22 seconds into the flight. Delta II vehicle now only weighs about one half of what it did at launch a minute and 28 seconds ago losing propellant at the rate of about 2,200 pounds per second. One minute, 35 seconds. Altitude now 15.4 nautical miles. Downrange distance 35.6 nautical miles. Velocity 3,393 miles per hour. One minute, 48 seconds. Airlet motor chamber pressure is beginning to drop. About uh, 10 seconds more before we burn out those airlit solids. Anyway, for SEP, and we have separation. Airlit solids have separated. Seconds into the flight. Altitude now 31.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 79.5 nautical miles. Velocity 5300. 98 miles per hour. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Main engine chamber pressure is still...